Hey everyone, Danny California here, and today I'm going to talk about the pack. I'm a little nervous about this because defining the pack is, and I'm not even joking here, the hardest concept in roller derby. Dun dun dun. So first things first, who can be part of the pack? Well, when it comes to the pack, it's blockers only. Sorry jammers, you're not allowed. So we can just get rid of you for this conversation. Magic. The next thing you need to know about the pack is opposites attract. This means you need to have blockers from both teams present in your group in order to be considered the pack. You can't have a pack made up of only one team. I kind of like to think of the pack as working like a magnet. If you want two magnets to stick together, you need to have a positive side connect to a negative side. So in roller derby, one team is the positive side and the other team is the negative side. Now you can't have a pack of only positives because they won't stick together. You have to have at least one of each in order for the pack to work. The next thing to think about when talking about the pack is proximity. How close together do you have to be in order to be considered the pack? If we think about our pack members as being magnets, they have to be pretty close together to stick. If they're too far apart, they won't. So how close is close enough? 10 feet. So here we have a pack. They've got members from both teams and they're within 10 feet of each other. Now when I say within 10 feet of each other, I don't mean that every player has to be within 10 feet of every other player. I just mean that each player has to be within 10 feet of at least one other pack member. So if we introduce another blocker, even though they're kind of outside of this pack, they're still within 10 feet of at least one other pack member. So this is still a pack member. We can keep doing this all the way down the line. As long as each member is still within 10 feet of another pack member, they're part of the pack. This player is within 10 feet of a pack member, this player is within 10 feet of a pack member, this player is within 10 feet of a pack member. The thing that makes it hard is that people are constantly moving. So if this player suddenly moves outside of 10 feet, they're no longer a pack member. So now these players are no longer within 10 feet of a pack member. This is the pack, these are not. Also, when it comes to the pack, just like with a Highlander, there can be only one. Highlander reference, check. What I mean is, you can't have two packs. Right now we have two separate groups on the track. They're equal in size and both have members of both teams. Since you can't have two packs, right now there's a no pack situation. Which leads me to my next point, which is, when it comes to the pack, size matters and bigger is better. Now since these two groups are equal, there's a no pack situation. But if one player were to move to the other group, now this becomes the pack because it's the biggest group with members of both teams in it. The final thing to think about is that it's the responsibility of all the blockers on the track to keep the pack together. So if there's a no pack situation called, and you'll know it because a ref will raise his hands in the air and say, no pack, then it's the responsibility of all the blockers to stop what they're doing and reform the pack. An inside pack ref will then point to the front and the back of the new pack and say, the pack is here. Pack ref kitty says the pack is here. Meow. I know the pack can be a really confusing concept, but at its core, it's actually a fairly simple one. The pack is the largest group of blockers made up of members of both teams within 10 feet of each other. And if you really want to learn more about the pack, watch and play as much roller derby as you can, and you'll figure it out within no time. Pack is here, the pack is here. Pack is here, the pack is here. Pack is here, the pack is here. The pack, the pack, the pack, the pack.